Hello guys, welcome to Buddy Developers. I'm Naveen. In the previous video of our Buddy Press series, we have seen the component called Account Setting. And in current videos, we will talk about the next component of Buddy Press called Friend Connection. And since this uh, component is somehow related with Notification Component too, so I will enable both of the component and we will see how they function. So here I am logged in with admin user and in this tab I am logged in as a Peter user and in this tab I am logged in with user Sam. If uh, just in case you are wondering how I am logged in in the same website with three different user then I am using a, a browser extension called, called session box which help you to create multiple session for the same website in a same browser tab. So now that I have enabled the friend connection and notification module, let me first clear what is friend connection. So friend connection component of BuddyPress will allow you to allow your users to make connection uh, so that they can track the activities of other users and they can focus on the people they care most about so in simple word friend connection is something similar like Facebook friend feature where the user of uh, your community website can send friend requests to other user in the same website and uh, also they can send them private or public message so similar like Facebook they can make friend if you have enabled this component of BuddyPress. Notification component of BuddyPress is to notify users about different activities that is related to them. For example, if somebody send a friend request, then the user will receive a notification related to that. Notification component shows all those notifications here in this bubble and you can also see it in the front end. So now that we have enabled these two components, let's see how they work. So after enabling notification and friend module, we have two new tabs, notification tab where I can, where a user can read all the notification that they have received. And in the friends tab, they see the list of friend they have. And in the, right now there is no friend. And in the request tab, they see all the friend requests that they have received. Now let's go to the members tab and let's add few friend. You can see a button here, add friend. So by clicking on it, user can make friends. So I'm sending a friend request to Peter. And let's see where I'm logged in as Peter user. Let, I will refresh the page. And there you can see we received a notification. So this one is from BuddyPress and um, this notification module is uh, from the buddy X theme that we are using so now we are in the, in the notification tab and I can mark the notification read in the friends tab still there is no friend I have but in the request tab for Sam user I received one friendship request I can accept it here and now if I refresh my friendship tab there you go I have one friend and at any point I can cancel my friendship with the user. Now let's go to the tab where I'm logged in as Sam and from the members page I'm gonna send friend request to Peter. So now if I refresh the Peter page there you go. Uh, I have one friend in the request section I receive a request from Sam. I can accept it and now if I check my friendship tab I have two friends now. So this is how the friend connection and notification component of BuddyPress works. In the upcoming videos of this video series, we will check other components. And meanwhile, if you have any doubts, any query, uh, you can let me know in the comment section of uh, the video. I will reply to them. And possibly if uh, the query is major, I will create a video for it. Stay tuned. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such helpful tips. Have a good day.